Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope everyone's doing okay. I hope everyone's had a good week, good weekend. It is currently Sunday that I'm recording this. Um, so I hope everyone had a good weekend. It is actually the 1st of August, so happy new month to everyone. Um, and I hope everyone is doing all right. And as you can see from the video title, <laughs> I'm gonna be reviewing these um, Kuritama Instax Mini 9 um, instant camera. I'm so excited for this, y'all. I ordered this, I don't know, like Wednesday or Thursday, and it came today. And I love Guritama. I actually just got this because it's Guritama. And it has like some cute accessories. Like I love Guritama. I don't know why. I have like a little cute Guritama book that I got from Amazon just because. Like I have this cute little thing that I got from Attic Salts for like $12. Um, and it talks. Please don't. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. And stuff like that is so cute. I don't know. I'm just obsessed with Guritama. So I got this for the purpose of collecting over anything. Because I do have an Instax printer. Um, and I, I have a bunch of Polaroids. I don't know if you can see like over on that wall. I have like a bunch of Polaroid pictures. And before I moved to this house, in my old house, I had like a whole wall filled with Polaroids. But I preferred this just because um, I can choose what pictures to print and stuff. Versus this where it's like, once you click, that's it. Um, I have a regular camera, so this didn't appeal to me as much. But just because it's Kuritama and I saw it, it was like 125 So it's like double the price of a regular Instax. But it's whatever it's good so i just got it anyway well when i first got it my first impression was this is like opened this is open so i was really hoping i didn't get a used one because i kind of ripped too but we can go ahead and open the package up i also have film i got this um, probably like a year ago and thankfully it's not expired it's expiring on September of this year so I will, I will use that um, with this camera and I will test out the camera make sure it's working so you guys are gonna see my first shoot and stuff all right so opening the box we have this little Uh, oh, I think this is a zoom in. Um, this like helps with taking selfies, I believe. It helps create like a zoomed in type of look. So yeah, cause when I'm, yeah, it like makes things bigger. Okay, that's cool. Uh, oh. It comes with this strap that does not really match the camera. This lanyard for the, okay. Yeah, I think this like goes around your neck. All right, it's cute. What else we got in here? I'm just gonna pull out the actual camera. So we have the camera, but I'm gonna do this one last. Um, we have this little strap for your hand, your wrist. Um, open that up. Cute, cute, okay. These are not really matching the theme. I would think that if this is like a limited edition or whatever, it would come with like matching wrist lanyard, matching uh, neck strap, but it's like they just put a bunch of stuff in there. I don't know, but it's okay. Uh, we have in here we have a sticker. Okay, we have whatever that is. A bunch of paper. It's all in Japanese. Um, unfortunately, I would have loved to read this. It's talking about these settings. 
um oh this is the manual and it's in english it probably has a bunch of languages so i will be reading that i think you guys should definitely read it to avoid any mistakes that can cost you film because this is pretty it's pretty expensive here and i don't know what that is but i'm gonna put all these back unfortunately it didn't come with batteries so i'm probably gonna have to get batteries for my kitchen real quick um and lastly we have the actual camera and again not sealed i hope i didn't get like a used one because in the review someone did see it, like she got a used one and it was pretty noticeable she was like there's dog hair in the packaging and stuff but i really hope this just functions because this is too expensive but overall this is actually so cute you guys it's so adorable it's actually so cute so this is a lens cap Ooh. and it's it's rigid it's silicone but it's like it's a little it's tough good 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 and we have this little eggshell thingy um when it's on here it covers the back and the counter so i guess that's one thing to look out for but it is removable and it is also silicone yeah um, this is the camera by itself. So cute. Oh my god. Yellow is my favorite color and I love Guritama and when I saw this, yo, when I saw this, I was like, I just, I just have to have it, but I love it so much. So cute. But this is what the back looks like. Side, front, side, back. This is... This is the back. Interesting that it's pink. Hmm. But yeah, it's so cute. Okay. Looking through the viewfinder is a little hard though. Because of, just because of how small it is. But overall, it's a really cute camera. Um, so this is like the printer and this is the camera. I would love to do like a comparison video for you guys. So if you're interested, just leave a comment down below and I could do that. But oh, I, I just love this. Like I'm obsessed. But give me one second so I can get some batteries and we can test it out. Take our first shot and see if it actually works. If it's functioning, if I got a brand new one and not a used one. All right, be right back. Okay, I am back with my batteries. I have AA and AAA. I don't know which one it uses, but we'll see. And also, it uses only alkaline batteries, <clears throat> so just be mindful of that. Only put alkaline. If you don't, something bad might happen. You know, maybe it might ruin the camera, so don't take that chance, because these are expensive. So just make sure, I mean, regular Duracell is alkaline, energizer alkaline, yeah um this uses AA I believe it looks like AA <clears throat> thankfully I have two right here okay so I put the batteries wrong the first time but now I put it right hopefully it comes on I heard sound I heard sound So how do I know if it's, oh, there's a light, oh, and it came on, yay, it works, okay, I was so scared when nothing was happening, so this is like the dial that tells you what settings to use, because I'm in my house right now, it's a little, not as bright, and it's night, it's like 11 p.m., so it gives the light options, which lets in, the house option, I mean, and it that setting lets in the most light and when it's like the sun options it like closes the shutter it has a faster shutter speed to let in less light so your picture is not whitewashed i would say just follow those settings on here for the best outcome of your pictures um yeah when i watched a bunch of videos that's what they all said too just follow what the camera tells you versus trying to 
do something else um okay so let's go ahead and load some film in here i got this at walmart it'll say box of 60 and it's lasting me for over a year i would say oh thankfully i have two in here i thought i only had one great that's amazing i'm so happy about that <laughs> so um i would say do not hoard film because i've had this for almost a year and you're about to expire and i didn't use the whole 60 so probably by like 20 at a time like two of these versus a whole box of 60 unless you feel like you're gonna take a whole lot but even with my polaroid wall i only use like three packs or something so opening the film also don't touch the film because you might damage it oh. so don't touch the back don't touch those two things in there and you just align the yellow to so that yellow right there. So I align the yellow thingies like that. And it's in. Okay. Um, anyway. gonna take out the first like the cover of the film so oh, that was scary for some reason okay the slash killed me just now okay <laughs> all right now it says 10 um so I'm gonna take a picture of something maybe of my let's see Okay, so I, I took the first picture. Um, it was a picture of my plushies on my bed. So, here's the first film. Let's see how it turns out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just leave this face down and wait for it to, to, to develop. Oh, it's coming up. So, well, while that's developing, let's go ahead and attach the accessories so put that back in there before i accidentally press the shutter oh it's the uh, you just kind of attach it on there so that's how it looks and that would be for taking selfies and use this to look at yourself while you're taking a selfie. <sighs> All right, let's attach the wrist strap. Do I want it on the left or the right? I want it on this side. Okay. And put it on here. I'm not going to put this on there just because I don't really like the color. So that's just going to be that. Alright. Oh, this is cute. This is the picture, you guys. It's still developing, of course, but that's what it looks like so far. And I like the color. It looks so vintage and so cute. <sighs> Composure. I feel like for the most part, this is kind of what it's going to look like. You get the gist, basically, of what it's going to look like. But I would like to say that I'm really impressed. Obviously, I don't think this is worth $125. I could have gone two cameras for the price of that. But just because it's Guritama and I really love Guritama, so I mean, it's okay. I'm fine with paying that price and I did pay that price. 
and you know it comes with these cute little accessories that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it and thankfully it works I don't know if this was used because it was opened but I mean I'm still satisfied um, so that was my unboxing my first reactions first impressions I'm pretty happy with it um and yeah definitely recommend I will most likely be making a video like I said comparing the printer the printer to the camera um which one's better showing guys the quality of the pictures and the differences I also probably make a video on like talking about the settings and how to best take photos with these and probably comparing photos in different settings um yeah but that's basically it for today's video i just wanted to unbox this and give my first impressions hope you guys enjoyed watching this cute little video it was a little chaotic because all the things that would kind of go wrong when you're unboxing something or like the confusion the pauses where you're like what what does this do that all happened right in front of the camera so i'm gonna have to edit this quite a bit but <laughs> That's okay. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, night, morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Unboxing videos, reviews, how-to, styling videos, cute little videos, aesthetic type of videos. And yeah, I will be putting the link to this in the description box if you would like to get that for yourselves. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!